The last question she asked me was, when will I be traveling? So, at that point I knew this was tricky. When will I be traveling? So let's go to the first question I was asked. Hey guys, my name is Shaya. Today I'm going to be sharing my US interview experience, questions asked and how I answered them. I had my interview in Lagos. I, as I went out in Nigeria, I lived in Abuja. And me moving to Lagos was because Abuja Embassy was closed. I don't know, two people have walked up to me to let me know that if you move from Abuja to Lagos, Lagos to Abuja for your US interview, there is a high chance of you getting the visa approval. I don't know how true that is. I, I didn't do that because of that. I did that because Abuja Embassy was closed, but you can try that out if you have the money to move from one state to another. This is how the interview started. Hello, how are you doing today? And I responded, I'm fine. How are you doing today? She was like, oh, she's doing good. Then she asked me, you are going to Texas Tech University, right? I responded, yes, Texas Tech University at Lubbock. So I was specific. The next question she asked me was, so tell me, how did you know about Texas Tech University? And I smiled, I was like, Vicky, I got to know about Texas Tech through my professor, um, Dr. Deji. He attended the University of Georgia and I told him to recommend five universities to me that I would like to apply to for my master's program. He recommended five to me. I selected Texas State University and University of Arkansas. And she was like, oh yeah, did you get into both schools? I was like, of course, I did get into both schools and I received scholarship in both universities. So I just personally, based on no reason, to go for Texas State University. And she was like, oh, that's cool. Why communication was the next question she asked me. I think that was the shortest response I gave to her because I was like, I laughed then I was like, I studied mass communication. I currently work as a communication specialist for four years. So I've been in this industry for a long period of time. This is something I'm passionate about. And of course, I wouldn't want to do something else. So that was what I said, like so brief. That was so brief, but that was what I said. And that question she asked me was, where do you work and what do you do? So I responded, I was like, I work with the federal government of Nigeria, blah, 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 blah. I mentioned the institution and what I do in the place. And she was like, oh, what did you call the name of the um, organization again i was like national something 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 look it up it's online i don't know what she was doing but like i think she checked i don't really know but she was like oh oh that's cool another question she asked me was what are your plans after studies and i was like good question <laughs> i responded and said my university leave lasts for two years and my degree program also lasts for two years which is the perfect time for me to attempt the next promotional examination for the position of a senior communication specialist in my agency that will be held in 2025. I was specific. Spe like, specific. I told her everything. I told her the duration for my study leave, the duration for my program, and how both aligns with each other, and the fact that after my study leave, there is something happening in my agency in Nigeria. So it's more like I'm talking about Nigeria, I'm still bringing back to what I want to do in my company. I feel like they already know everybody wants to tie back to Nigeria. So instead of tying back to Nigeria, tie back to your company in Nigeria. Do you get be specific about where you want to work in Nigeria? I mentioned what I want to do. I mentioned the position I aim for in the next few years in my company. Another question she asked was, who is sponsoring me? I am not fully funded. I have a um, certain amount I am expected to be paying every semester, so I am not fully funded. And I had to provide a proof of funds, so she needed to ask me that question. This is a big question, and this is the part where a lot of people miss it. So I would say that, hold on to your truth. Whatever you plan on saying from your house is what you should bring to the table. I responded to her by saying that, um, Texas Tech awarded me a certain amount of scholarship. I mentioned it and I also said my brother will be paying the deficit. He currently works as a senior engineer at the Ministry of Environment and he has been there for the past eight years. I work with the federal government. He works with the federal government. Literally everyone in my house works with the federal government. That's how I responded to her. And that question she asked me was, where will you be staying in your first few weeks in the United States? Then I laughed. I was like, when I got my admission, I reached out to my professor. I was really excited because I go into both schools and I got scholarships in both schools. So I reached out to him and he, and he referred me to a girl. So I connected with her on LinkedIn. I didn't say WhatsApp. So I told them, I told her LinkedIn. I connected with her on LinkedIn and we spoke at length. I'll be staying with her for three days before I moved to my apartment, which is Tribe. 
two days ago i contacted the leasing office but i can't sign the lease because i don't know if i'm going to get my visa approved that was what i told her straight up i was specific about who she is because i know if i say my friend or if i just say a random person she can start asking for that question so i was like my friend i got to know her through my professor I connected with her on linkedin i didn't mention whatsapp or facebook or any other social media site and i also told them about my apartment and i intend to sign my lease once i get my approval if you are going please don't beat around the bush go straight to the point and be specific again I'm, i've been saying specific 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 a million times but i hope you understand what i mean the last question she asked me was when will i be traveling so at that point i knew this was tricky when will i be traveling so i laughed and i was like i haven't gotten my visa so i don't know when i'll travel but if i'm going to travel i can't travel on christmas day i told her that i was like i can't travel on christmas day because i need to spend christmas with my family but i should be considering 26 27 28 thereabouts and she smiled and the rest is history like i she smiled and that was how i ended my interview of course like the way I answered it is more like I'm still talking about my family. All my family are here. Like I don't want to leave my family in so much that I'm passionate about what I'm going for. So do you understand? So everything I've been saying is tied back to like my country, my country, my people, things that I'm doing here, things that I love. And my professor here, my professor studied in the US, he came back. So there's a probability that I myself will go to the US and I'll come back. <laughs> so do you guys get it i have a piece of advice for you guys yes stick to your truth stick to your truth like what a truth <laughs> i say what a truth what truth means to you is different from what truth means to another person it's different from what truth means to me whatever you plan to say from your house is what you should say because trust me when you get there you may likely be confused and you may be convinced to like change some of your answers during my interview there is this guy that i met and it was not that i reached out to me first he was like ah is this your first time i responded to him i was like oh, yes this is my first time he laughed he was like ah, this is his fourth time or fifth time more that the first time he came he chose a different course the second time it was his proof of fund i was like how much proof of fund was that he told me it was i think it's five million in my head i was like my proof of fund is not even half of the amount of what is even mentioned so Told me, ah, this one that your proof of form was this amount and they rejected you what should i do i showed him my i20 i showed him my i20 was like ah, this your proof of form is small hmm. so you will not add to it and say blah 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 need to now enter the restaurants that i was like oh my god that was the federal government in the 75 million like i was making mistakes and one thing about me is i'm not that good i don't really know how to lie like you get you get me on time so i don't really know how to lie so i was like missing it in the bathroom i was so like i was frustrated i was trying to like practice it okay my brother in 75 and it wasn't 75 million that was on my i20 see that you see that's one thing about lying like looking back at it now imagine me lying saying that my brother earned 75 million per year and on my i20 is showing way below 75 million that's automatically a no anything you already plan on saying just go there with it and i feel like the will of god will be done you just don't don't panic and smile like that's one thing i would tell people smile i was nervous and one thing about me is if i'm nervous i tend to like use my hand to communicate often like i'm like this so you wouldn't know and i think that really helps too these are all the questions i was asked if you have any questions or concern comment below i'm definitely going to respond do not forget to like share and subscribe bye this way so these are all the questions i want these are all the questions i want <laughs>